over. It's over, but now the runoff is continuing. As a result, we have a flash flood warning for eastern Washington, Pleasance, and western Tyler counties until 145. We'll see that in just a moment. Let's take a look at our radar satellite composite. And as you can see, look at that downpour that just kind of lingered there in eastern Washington County, and then one or two waves came through. This is the area that we're talking about, and that's what's uh, draining away even as we speak. Here's the view on the Highmark West Virginia Sky Cam. 71 degrees, 90% relative humidity, winds out of the northeast at 5, and the pressure 30.14 inches. And uh, uh, as you can see, here's the scarlet. This is the flash flood warning. It's uh, modified here that it's running till 1:45 a.m. at least because it has to drain into various creeks and streams in the area and has overwhelmed them at this point. The current weather, well, we're looking at 68 in Athens, 71 for Parkersburg, 74 in Charleston, 75 in Columbus. The breeze from the northeast at five, but calmer ports elsewhere. We're about three degrees warmer than we were yesterday at this same time. So when we look at the most recent radar echoes, the heavy downpours have broken up considerably as they move into the mountains of West Virginia and head towards maybe Pennsylvania, but uh, we still have to deal with the drainage and the aftermath there. There is a cold front that will be draped across Ohio. That is expected to push through tomorrow afternoon. That will bring cooler, drier air into the mid-Ohio Valley and get rid of the humid, muggy conditions that we're experiencing overnight. Futurecast suggests that there will be widespread fog tomorrow morning that we'll have to dissipate. Once that goes, we're looking at perhaps some scattered showers for the first part of Thursday, but as we get into the afternoon and evening, clearing conditions, and then as we get into Friday, more sunshine as we have temperatures about the same range. The convective outlook suggests that we're in the lowest category for thunderstorm development tonight, and this is tomorrow, which is virtually the same, but you can see the back edge here where we anticipate the cold front to come through. So tonight, 67 for the overnight low. A few showers, yeah, we had quite a downpour there just in the last hour or so. Tomorrow, 85 for the high with some scattered showers in the morning. And then the extended forecast suggests that Friday will be dry, but the same temperature range as we get into Saturday and Sunday. We're at 90 degrees with the potential for showers late Sunday. And then we have storms potentially Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday into next week.